I'm going to play the video of the Nancy Pelosi attacker and give my reaction to the video. A lot of you guys know that Nancy Pelosi's husband was attacked by a guy with a knife. Police officers responded and somehow the guy was not killed. He was not shot. And he pretty much struck Nancy Pelosi's husband with a hammer in the head right in the presence of the police officer and he lived to see another day let's watch you can see the guy he's trying to break into the house and I'm thinking, you would think there's more security than that or a barrier. It's so easy to break into Nancy Pelosi's house. It just didn't make sense. So he's able to force his way in. And you see him in front of the office right now. Hi. How you doing? How are you? What's going on, man? Everything's good. Hi. Hi Drop guys. the hammer. Um, nope. Hey, 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 hey. What is going on right now? I'm not getting an answer on call back. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Edward 14 Edwards in backup, code 3. Code 3 backup at 26. Give me your hand! Give me your hand! 40 Broadway for 14 hours. Wow. This is crazy. And the first thing that came to my mind was that he made it out alive. He said, the officer said, drop the hammer. He said, I'm not going to drop the hammer. He was so nice and cordial with a criminal with a hammer. And we know why. You know why. Just keep it real. If the guy with a hammer had a different skin tone and he told the officer, I am not going to drop the hammer, a deadly weapon. Thank God Nancy Pelosi's husband survived. That hammer at the time was, was a deadly weapon. He said he was not going to drop the hammer. You know, the guns will have been out. And he battered Nancy Pelosi's husband right in front of the cops. I'm not saying that he should have shot him, that the officer should have shot the guy. All I'm saying is that it seems to be the use of force is not always applied with the same force. It's always selective use of force, depending on the skin, to skin tone of the suspect. Let's just call a spade a spade, people. Let's stop the foolishness. Let's just call a spade a spade. I remember there was a video that went viral. Was it last year? Where there was a fight between two young ladies. Officer was called to the scene. One of the ladies had a knife and was about to stab another young lady in the chest area. And the officer responded and shot the lady with a knife and killed her. And the officer was in charge because they said, hey, he had a duty to protect the citizen. I mean, he had a duty to protect the citizen from being stabbed. And the use of force was reasonable and necessary to repel uh, the stabbing, which will have most likely killed the girl. Here, Nancy Pelosi's husband could have died after he got struck with a hammer in his head. So if the officer had used deadly force to stop the attack, 
who will have been justified in doing so. But we know that it doesn't always work that way. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think that the officer will have acted the same way and be nice and say, drop the hammer? If the person holding the hammer, knowing fully well, he had just broken into someone's house. I'm sure the dispatcher told the officer it's a burglary. Possibly a burglary with somebody. I mean, if you burglarizing someone's house, you mean no good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Appreciate you guys for watching. Stay safe out there, my lovely people. And most importantly, say no to extreme foolishness.